in this module we are going to talk about something slightly different it is since we are talking about we are on the subject of dna replication and we are talking about dna it is important that we talk about some other technologies that also exploit special features of dna we are going to talk about restriction endonucleases these are enzymes that can cleave dna at specific sites i would like to say a few words about their discovery it is important the scientists noted that bacteriophage the virus that can infect a bacterial cell a virus a bacteriophage that was infecting e coli a strain of e coli b strain when this virus was used to infect a different strain of e coli it was a k e coli k strain it was very ineffective in infecting that k e coli k strain after several generations the virus perfected was able to adapted to infect and grow in the e coli k strain when the same virus which was originally taken from the e coli b strain and were, was then grown in e coli k strain initially it was difficult but later on when the strain bacteriophage strain adapted to e coli k they took that bacteriophage and tried to infect e coli b again so here bacteriophage that could grow in e coli b was successively was taken to e coli k here it was not able to infect this k very well however after certain several generations it was and then same virus was used to infect e coli b this virus could not infect e coli b very efficiently now so this puzzled the scientists and they wanted to look further into it so let's look at what they found they found that special bacterial enzymes can cut double stranded dna at specific sites in the test tube it so happens these bacteria all cells can modify their dna and their chemically modified dna serves as a protective mechanism so cells know this is our dna any foreign dna that tries to enter the cell which does not have those chemical modifications is basically destroyed so that is why the phage that was initially able to infect the e coli b very successfully when it was taken to e coli k it was not able to infect e coli k very successfully because it was being degraded their bacteria also have a sort of an immune system that detects foreign dna and degrades it however after several generations that bacteriophage dna also accumulated same chemical modifications and was able to infect e coli k very successfully now that bacteriophage in e coli k strain had a different type of chemical modifications when it was taken back to e coli b strain it could not infect the e coli b strain very well that is what led scientists to explore this phenomena and they they found that there are enzymes bacterial enzymes that can cut double stranded dna at specific sites since these enzymes restricted the growth of bacteriophage they were called restriction enzymes they restricted the the growth of a phage virus they sort of these viruses act as sort of immune system of bacteria protecting the invasion of foreign dna or the viruses many recombinant technologies which have been uh, invented in field of biotechnology heavily rely on the on the development of or the discovery of restriction enzymes so it's very important i would like to point out a few things about these restriction enzymes some of them which we are interested in these enzymes cut a palindromic sequence what is a palindromic sequence it reads the same whether you read it from 5 prime to 3 prime direction or 3 prime to 5 prime direction for example easy to understand the word dennis sent if you read it from left to right it reads dennis sent if you read it from right to left it also reads dennis sent this is what a palindromic sequence is these enzymes restriction 
endonucleases they cut dna at specific locations which are generally palindromic sequences and when they cut the dna at palindromic sequences they some of these enzymes can generate sticky ends what do i mean by sticky ends some of these enzymes cut dna they will have single stranded dna in which the bases are exposed and these bases have ability to do form hydrogen bonding which you can see right here so they can form hydrogen bonding between complementary nucleotides or a fragment of dna with the complementary nucleotides so this is basically what i wanted to talk about restriction endonucleases we will see how endonucleases can be exploited in the field of biotechnology in a later module